ladies, and welcome to the Foundation Channel. On this channel, I talk about everything foundation and complexion and how it relates to more mature skin. I do foundation reviews, foundation wear tests, foundation first impressions. We talk about some concealers and primers and a couple little things in between. So if you like that kind of thing, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at tanya.cortez. So look, today a, um, we're going to be talking about full coverage foundation on textured large pores, mature skin, okay? On my skin, I have large pores, raised moles, hyperpigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles, lots of texture, the whole, the whole thing, you know, I have, that's my mature skin. So just because you have those things and those concerns doesn't mean that you can't wear a full coverage foundation. Now I do try to make sure that I talk about different types of foundation from different finishes and formulas just to be inclusive so everybody can get an idea of what the foundation would look like on their skin if they had some of the same concerns that I have. So today I'm gonna to be talking about more full coverage, more buildable to full coverage foundations and some that I think look nice, um, even though they're full and they look good on you know, my skin texture. Right now I do have on a full coverage foundation and I'll show, it, show you what it is when I get to it. So I do have some medium range and some affordable foundations. Now I don't have any luxury ones here, um, but you know, you really don't need a luxury foundation to look good, seriously. If you want one and spend $200 for a foundation, by all means go right ahead, but you don't have to have you know, a, a really expensive foundation for your skin to look good. So I pulled a couple. So let's talk about the ones that I pulled. Maybe you want to try them. So the first one is NARS Soft Matte. I love this foundation. It has a nice satin matte finish, um, but it is full coverage and it does cover well. You can get away with like one coat with this. Um, you can build it too. And as long as you, I like to put it on with a brush and then uh, blend it out with a sponge the sponge not being too, too wet, but you know, blend it out with a sponge. So that way it kind of, you know, smooths out the pores and the texture and it looks good. I think this looks great on textured skin and I definitely think you should try it. I'm gonna put the prices up here in the video so that you can see all of these you can get at Sephora. Okay, so this one is a good one and that's one of the ones that I like. And this one is the Too Faced Born This Way. Uh, this is the undetectable, super long wearing. This is a soft matte, um, full coverage foundation. Now this does look good on your pores. Um, if you blend it out well, make sure you have the right shade. This will look nice. It actually looks really, really nice in pictures. So does the NARS. It looks really good in pictures. Um, but this does. If you use too much, you can make this is kind of can get a little cakey on you. So you don't need more than a, you know, a pump and a half maybe, depending on how big your face is. Y'all know I got a big face, so <laughs> I might use so and a half. But you know, you know, just be careful and be light-handed when you use this. It's not super cakey, but it can get there real quick. But it does look nice. Now this one is the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is uh, the Stay All Night and Day uh, Long Wear Foundation. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. And that is what I'm wearing today. Now I do like this foundation a lot. It does, it does a good job with my pores as you guys can see. And this is what I have on. And I just love this. I love the way this looks in pictures. I'm going to take a couple of pictures after this video. And I'm going to post them on my Instagram so that you guys can see. So please go there to see the pictures. But this is a really, really nice foundation. And this is another one of those ones where I just put this on with a brush, a stippling brush. And then I took a sponge and I just blended it. I mean, I blended it out with the brush, but then I just kind of went over it with the sponge just to soften it a little bit, get it all in that texture to make sure it looks smooth and all of that kind of stuff. And this one, you might want to use this with a more, not a, not a um, matte primer, not a matte primer, maybe a regular primer, you know, not a radiant primer, not a matte one, just a regular primer because this is very matte, but it is like, like you see, it, it does look like a soft matte, but it is very matte. So you just want to be careful with the primer that you use with this one. And the same goes with this one. Now this one, the NARS one, I'm just going to go backwards for a minute. The NARS one, you can use with a pore filler or mattifying primer because it is 
a soft mat, but it's not like a thick, hard mat that, that's gonna just go. So, you know, you can still do that with this one. And then one of my super favorites, one of my super favorites, and this is the Urban Decay um, Stay Naked Weightless uh, liquid foundation. This is a full coverage foundation and this is beautiful on pores, beautiful on, um, you know, texture, all that kind of stuff. It handles wrinkles well. It just looks really, really nice. I think I have a review on my channel of this. I'm not sure exactly if I do, but um, this is a really good one and this is not very expensive at all And so I think you should really try this but this looks really good and it also looks good in pictures You want to be careful with the primer you use on this one, but you can use a um, a Matte primer if you want to a pore reducing primer if you want to um, But you know that one is good because it's not one of those tight mats. It is, you know fairly on the satin side It's not a super matte. Okay and for this is now this is I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest this is one of my absolute favorites and this is sephora best skin ever this is buildable to full coverage but to me this is full coverage going on it says that it is buildable but i believe that this is matte but it's a pretty matte it, it this looks really natural on the skin it covers a lot it looks good on the texture and pores and you can wear any primer with this any primer with this will work um, I just like it a lot and I wear it all the time. This is my second bottle <laughs> and it's affordable, you know, so I love foundations that are affordable that look nice, you know, but this is really a good one. Um, you might want to try this and this is the Sephora brand, like, you know, like you can't beat that. And another affordable one, this is the Maybelline Fit Me um, Normal, this is the um, Matte and Poreless. Okay, so this is a matte foundation. It is exactly what it says. It is matte. It is poreless. Of course, if you have pores, nothing is going to take your pores away. Okay, but you can blur them, make them really look nice. This is drugstore, and this does work really well. Like, I, I used to use this, like, every day. This was my daily driver all the time. I would put this on with a matte primer. Any primer will do. You can use um, any kind of primer that is a matte primer pore reducing um, primer that you want to use or a regular primer would be fine too. What I always like to tell people um, that ask, when you're doing a really matte foundation, you don't want to do a really matte primer either, you know, because then you don't want yourself to look like you're so dry and because whose face looks like that? Nobody's face really looks like that. Everybody has some sort of shine and sheen to their skin. So you don't want to look casket ready. You don't want to just let everything look so dry. Okay. So you can use, um, a regular primer with this and this would be fine if you want some extra, you know, poreless primers going on. Just put it in the areas that you need. I always put prime, um, you know, pore reducing primers and stuff right here. And then areas that I really want it to look a little more snatched or whatever, that's where I'll put that at. And then a regular primer, you know, over the whole face. But I think that this one is good. I think um, you would really like this if you're on a budget. Even if you're not on a budget, I think you would like it. Um, it does look good on the texture for sure. It really does. And for a stick foundation, I pulled the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. Guys, I love this foundation. Um, this one is not in the color, but as you can see, this is pretty much gone. <laughs> I wore this to death and it looks really, really nice. You need to be careful because it is a stick foundation and it can start looking casket ready like immediately if you don't go in good now with this you're going to have to do a nice stippling brush and really work it into the areas where you have the large pores and the texture just to make sure it looks good and you're going to also have to maybe not but i'd still like to go over any matte foundation with a soft damp really damp um sponge and you can wear this with any primer i do believe i think you can you know i use a mattifying primer underneath here because it is a stick foundation which automatically means it's a little bit more oily anyway so i use a more of a mattifying primer if you have oily skin you might want to stay away from a stick foundation it just depends on your skin because these can generate a lot more oil and the more powder you use the more oily you're going to get <laughs> 
So you just need to be careful if you have oily skin. If you have dry skin, sick Stick foundations are always a good way to go if you have dry skin. If you have really dry skin, you can use a, a radiant primer underneath, you know, more of a moisturizing primer underneath to wear the full coverage. Just because it's full coverage and you have dry skin doesn't mean you can't wear it. You just want to use more of a moisturizing primer, something like that, just to give this some moisture before you put this on. But these are the ones that I think, some of the ones that I think are really, really a good selection if you're working with larger pores. Um, but keep in mind, it's all about the way that you put this, these foundations on. These are good foundations, but they can look a mess if you don't put them on properly. Now, I know you guys have seen people out with a thick cover of foundation that just looks a mess. All of it is gonna take about how you put your foundation on. You gotta, when you have texture and large pores, you have to blend that foundation into your skin. Really get it into your skin and then press your powder on. So it's all about the way you apply these foundations. You know, I think they're great choices that you could try and see how you like them. Some affordable, some reasonably priced. You know, go check them out. I'll have um, the information down in the description box. I always say that. No, never put it in. <laughs> I'm the worst, okay? My links always look crazy. That's why I don't never put them down there. But anyway, I'm going to put all the names and the shades that I wear underneath in the description um, box. So if you're my shade twin or close to it, you'll have an idea of what these are, right? Okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for coming. And remember, it all starts with the base. You guys stay safe. Bye.